What's up, YouTube? Happy coming to you. Captain Awesome Fish Room. Jeff Promise Pro Guy bringing y'all a video I've been working on for a while. Uh, a few weeks, at least. Um, now, you'll start watching the video, and once you get through the, the first segment, you'll notice that there's a clip missing, and that's the beginning of it, uh, whenever I first started dosing. And this video is about new algae. Uh, it's, uh, I find that you know a lot of people that try to make videos of it and explain what it does uh, it comes across as being something that just takes care of nuisance algae and that's not what new algae is. New algae is a product that does that uh, but what it also does is it, uh, it adds to the ecosystem inside your aquarium like it it makes it better by adding oxygen to the water uh, it also makes it more stable, helps your biofilter run more efficiently, and in doing all that, it does make it to where the any kind of nuisance algae, unsightly algae, I should say, unsightly, uh, because algae really isn't a nuisance uh, in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah, I mean that's what it does. Uh, it it it's an additive to your tank that uh, basically makes makes your the the aquarium a more beneficial place for fish. Um, gives them more vigor. Uh, you'll notice better colors, and uh, it adds more oxygen to the water. Like I said, uh, you notice better plant growth, better colors on your plants as well. Uh, there's also a saltwater version. Uh, used to it used to be one product, and you could treat either side, but they, I guess, honed in new algae uh, in two different products to make one more beneficial for saltwater. Uh, so I'll be doing a video on that. Um, but this one is about freshwater and what it does. So it's not a it's not just an algicide. It doesn't just outcompete algae, and that's all it does. Uh, I mean. Basically, you get a, you know, it's a nano silica based product, and you get a diatom bloom, diatom algae bloom, and the microfauna that comes from that to eat the diatom algae uh, in turn makes the habitat more beneficial by making your bio, biological filter run more efficiently and add more oxygen to the water because of uh, photosynthesis and uh, you know yeah so I mean it, it does a whole lot more than just outcompete nuisance algae inside of your aquarium it does a whole lot more than that and that's what this video is about to show what it does so uh, you'll see that the aquarium water becomes more clear uh, what I like to call HD clear uh, you'll see nuisance algae go away uh, and I say nuisance algae loosely guys because algae isn't really a nuisance okay algae is beneficial to your tank uh, it's a natural filter fish can feed off of it. It, it algae is a great thing believe me and you know in turn you might ask yourself well why get rid of it uh, well you know it's kind of a trade-off you know algae is always inside of your inside of your aquarium system uh, if you didn't have algae living in there, believe me, fish wouldn't live in there either. Uh, as soon as you put a fish in, they die. Trust me. Uh, there's always algae in your system. It's the visible algae that people don't like. Uh, so, yeah, it does all that. And you'll see that inside the video along with a few other things. So, uh, yeah. So I made this introduction just so you would, you know, see or hear from me that there's a clip missing uh, I lost the footage from the very first dose um, and yeah so that's it so I hope you all enjoy today's video uh, be sure to rate comment subscribe all that jazz let me know what y'all are thinking uh, if you have any questions about new algae you can ask me here you can go to the new algae website and ask them uh, they're really fast at responding or responding rather uh, Anil over there is a great guy. Uh, I've worked with him a lot over the last few years. I've been dealing with new algae. Uh, great company. Um, they're they're really you know customer service based. So 
Uh, if you haven't tried them out, go and try them out. And with that said, hope you enjoy. All right, YouTube. So here we are at day four of the new algae dosing. Uh, this is what the tank looks like just before water change. And you notice inside the last clip, there wasn't as much diatom, especially over here. So it's starting to build up. Now, with the old formula of new algae, um, you dosed uh, pretty much every day, <coughs> or you could at least. And uh, that's what you did. So with this one, it's recommended, or well, you can still dose every day, I imagine, uh, but the instructions on the bottle say uh, once, uh, well, basically you dose every time you do a water change. I'm not going to say once a week, so some people just, they don't do water changes once a week. But uh, you, know, you can also notice in the last clip, uh, there's kind of a glare here, but if it wasn't for those bubbles back there, you wouldn't even be able to tell there's water in there. And this isn't even as clear as it can get, okay? So, I mean, this is, this is pretty clear. My, my water is pretty much always clear, but, <clears throat> I mean, this is... This is definitely clearer than normal, clearer than it normally is, but uh, I did just feed in here, so there's a lot of particulate matter inside the water column. Uh, I'm about to do a water change. And uh, as comparison, I'm gonna keep showing the fish inside this tank so you can kind of compare colors between clips. And remember, this is four days later or the fourth day of starting new algae. There's the silver dollars there. Uh, notice the red on their anal, or their ventral fin, anal fin, ventral fin. Also notice the silver sheen in their body. Now the next step date after this is not gonna be the next time I dose. It's not gonna be uh, four days later when I do a water change. I'm going to do a longer period of time so you can actually see a bigger difference. Uh, all this algae will probably be, probably be gone. But you can see there, uh, there's a lot more than there was in the last clip. And that's all diatom algae. There's a little bit of hair algae in there, but the majority of it is diatom algae. Notice it all over the driftwood here and uh, here's my new piece of driftwood that came inside my aquarium box really looking forward to my next box if y'all haven't already subscribed to that go ahead and hit that up because uh, you won't regret it I mean that that is an awesome product I cannot wait for my next box there's the male bean eye <clears throat> Notice the colors on him. Notice how he's acting. Just grazing on leftover food. Uh, here's the female. Get a good look at her. All right, so we'll see you in the next clip. Uh, it'll probably be a couple weeks for me, but it'll be a split second for you. So stay tuned. Here's day 20 of the new algae dosing. See the diatoms are almost completely gone now. Uh, you can see the fish are beautiful. And that's not only because of the algae, that's because of water quality and food and stuff like that too. But you see how they're just out more. See how they're just swimming out more and they're not all hunkered down in a corner. So. You know, that's that bigger I was talking about. See the bean eye there. Uh, now in the last clip, 
You can also see that there was a lot more algae than that on that rock. Come over here, there's a lot of green algae on that rock. And you see that the diatoms are starting to die back now. So they don't stay in your tank. You see how clear this water is on the over here. That's that HD quality. And it's not even done yet. Yeah, so basically new algae is just something to help you keep a healthier ecosystem inside of an aquarium. Get you a shot of everything here. Probably might see some clown loaches. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, one week later, and as you can see, most of the cyanobacteria is gone, the blue-green algae. And what is left looks like it's deteriorating, so, yeah. the 120 where we did the first dose of new algae the tank that we started at and today was the third or fourth dose I believe and as you can see all that diatom algae is completely gone nothing furry I mean there's a select few places like right there that have, still have some furry spots but uh, check out the rocks almost completely rid of any kind of visible algae. I mean, there, there's always algae in your aquarium, otherwise there wouldn't be anything living in there anyway. So, there's always algae present, but visible algae is limited now, which you can see. So, that's what new algae does for you. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping. And stay true to the hobby. Peace out.